we did a couple of weeks ago with Moog. We integrated our um, the system, visual navigation system, into their FMS. And they flew a 17 nautical mile flight, basically closed loop, integrated with their FMS and their autopilot. Uh, and we did landing guidance, and visual traffic detection, and navigation based on our system. So that was really exciting for us because it was the first time that we did it close to have a good So for regional airlines, you would think of if they are, let's say, flying regionally to uh, maybe airports that do not have ILSs available, and uh, et cetera, as low, low level flights, we can think of landing guidance, right? So where is the runway, where are you? Uh, compared to the runway and do some landing guidance. Um, we can think of runway incursions, so with our cameras we can actually see if there's someone else on the runway. Uh, so that should help and increase safety. Um, and later down the road, of course, also the navigation system is going to be a very, a very helpful feature if you are in a, a GPS denied environment. Right, so next week we have the SOI3. Um, we are planned basically with EASA in our, on our roadmap for certification. We hope to certify the traffic detection this year with EASA and the FAA. Uh, and so that will then open up um, our discussions with the OEMs to really start working on use cases and advise and help and consult and develop uh, yeah, future use cases in the, in the regional air, airline industry and also other sectors of aviation. And that's the first time an AI-enabled avionics system is going to be certified for a safety-critical aviation application. Yeah.